If success is winning Oscar, then I have failed. But if there is no failure when you try your best, then I did just fine. I'm Sherry, a writer, director, producer, editor, and songwriter. Let me share with you my story. If you ask my high school classmates to pick one most likely to succeed, I for sure will not get any vote. Not even myself. So anything worth mentioning in me, I was just a quiet girl with no talent. Although I did fine at college, a business degree from the best university in Taiwan, I did not like accounting. But after I get my MBA from Open University in America, I realize I need certifications to show people that I know accounting. For the next 30 years, I worked as accountant, but I didn't like it. I didn't complain because I got a good-paying job, although it may be the worst job for a creative person like me. But what else can I do? In 2015, I decided. Not to live my entire life like this, so I made my first YouTube video. It's called "All You Need to Know About Nibiru." I got a few hundred views in the first couple of weeks. That was enough to encourage me to do more. Five years later, my two YouTube channel had a total of 13 million views. But I didn't stop there. In 2016, before the end of the year, I submitted to the first film festival. I thought maybe they can prove that not all YouTube videos are junk. My first official selection came just in three days. Two months later, I got my first award. My first drama, Girl in the Go, of won Best Film of the Year at Madrid's Hell Chess Film Festival. Most people who saw the film thought it was good, but definitely. Cannot be the best film of the year, but the judges saw something in the film. They were touched by it, so they gave me this award. That really gave me the confidence I need. The following year, I wrote Chess Song, and that won Best Music 2018 again at Hell Chess. I don't know much about music, but I can feel the music, and I can share my feelings with you. With that encouragement, I wrote and won 66 more music awards, 77 director awards, 68 writing awards, and 43 editing awards. A lot of people ask me what kind of films do you make. Well, my answer is all kinds of films. If I have to pick a favorite, I would say it's documentary. I have 500 award-winning documentary videos. 60 of them are about Nostradamus. 13 are about other prophecies, and there were 60 about history and biography. Of course, you know I also have documentary on cultural, religion, and I have a lot of awards on web series. Although、uh, many of my films are shorts, like those music videos or trailers. But then I also made a lot of features. I can tell the same story with a feature film, a short, or even a one-minute trailer. In total, I won 54 feature awards. I have won 18 best comedy awards, five awards on interview films, three on smartphone projects, and 21 web shows. I have won 12 awards, and I even had a photography award from a Russian festival. With seven times winning as best woman filmmakers, eleven times in best messages, and believe it or not, I even won one award in Nice for best hair and makeup, even though、um, the actress did all the work. You may wonder how could anybody win so many awards in such a short time? Well, because I have so much to share, so I made a lot of films. I know how difficult it must be for festival judges to award someone like me. They must know I had no training, I had hardly any budget, and didn't take me long to make these films. But they saw something in my films. In 2021, my seven films won seven awards 
at the 54th Warfest Houston. And this year, I got seven nominations on my seven films in the annual White Screen Around the World Film at Barcelona. In April 2022, five of my nominated films will be screened at the 23rd Barebone International Film Festival in Oklahoma. It's not easy to make films with limited budget, but if there is a will, there is a way. I think filmmakers have the opportunity to let viewers see the world through our lenses, and we should try our best to bring out the truth and beauty. The world needs us, especially during COVID pandemic. Before COVID shut the global filming industry down in 2020, I had 450 IMDb awards. Two years ago, I arrived in Taiwan because of my medical condition. But then during the last two years, although I had two surgeries and didn't know anybody in Taiwan, I put up a team of talented cast with help from three college interns, my family and neighbors. As I said, I didn't know anybody when I first came to Taiwan other than my doctor. So I convinced my doctor to make films the film we did called Vaccine Against the Virus won Silver Wolfast Houston documentary Remy's. And the films I made about my three college intern called 20 Something in Taiwan won an accolade, an indie fest, two best shorts, and two Impact Docs awards, and also won another Silver Remy at 54th Warfest Houston. But in December 2020, I met a Chinese energy master at a Chinese medicine award ceremony when I was filming a documentary. I found he can kill hepatitis B virus with remote energy. So I asked him if he can kill COVID virus. He agreed to work with me by sending healing energy to a small country I picked in Europe. I picked Liechtenstein, and he worked on it for seven days. And the documentary I made about this work called Energy vs. COVID-19 won another Silver 54 Warfest Remy Award. Our fight together did not stop there. After the experiment, Master Zen Wang agreed to send healing energy upon my request to Mexico, Brazil, Poland, and India, and then to Indonesia. Guess what? We're still fighting. You may think this is a joke. It's not. Although I don't expect anyone to believe me. Check if your hand of the same size first, and then watch the video for the next 15 seconds, and then check again. See if your left hand is bigger than the right. Don't worry, it will go back in 24 hours. Master Zen Wang attached his energy to this video. Just to show you that anything is possible. If we want, we can change the world together. So what do I want to do next? I want to continue doing what I love, to make more films. I want to send out more positive messages and hopefully we can live through the crisis together.